And being your sixth birthday, um, Dave, Dave encouraged me to, um, he thought it would be interesting to kind of take us back to the beginning um, and share a little bit about my testimony and how I got involved with Sedaris. Um, I'll be brief, <laughs> but I, I, it's, it's just so awesome to be able to be here and celebrate six years of this church in this city. Um, I'm not a Seattle native. I'm a transplant. I've moved a few times in my life, um, but Sedaris has been home for me for six plus years, and it's just, it's just so amazing to see what God's doing in our city and doing with our church, and I just want to say first, thank you for joining today um, online or in person. Thank you for um, giving us a chance <laughs> and seeing what God's doing with, with Sedaris and in Seattle um, each week, each month, um, year over year. So six years of showing up. I just want to give all of you a round of applause for giving Sedaris a chance because look at, look at what we're doing here. This is so cool and God's um, been able to do through Sedaris. So first round of applause. <laughs> Happy birthday to everyone. <laughs> Um, and yeah, just taking back, taking me back, um, the, the anniversary each year, um, takes me back to the beginning when there were, there were five of us who started in a living room, but that story we tell, um, you know, year over year, but for me, it started even before that. I mean, God, um, God does amazing things with moving people in and out of, um, situations and into new ones. And being in the middle of Exodus, um, it was a good reminder, to, talking this through with Dave, of my story. Um, as I, I was living in Denver and, and going all the way back to how God knits people together and sort of builds community that way, um, I met Ryan and Christy Farrell on a boat in Turkey um, on a study abroad trip in grad school back in 2011. And that was before I even moved to Seattle, but um, God has a way of knitting things together and lining things up, and when you look back, that's sort of when it makes sense. Um, but met Ryan and Christy, ended up living with them, ended up becoming part of a church, um, becoming more involved in the church in Denver, um, joining a fellowship group, actually showing up to the fellowship group. <laughs> um, it was in my living room, so I couldn't bail that easily. Um, and and. It was just this amazing community, and God showed me what it's like to be involved. And even through that experience, I met Dave um, setting up chairs at, at Fellowship Denver. Um, he played it really cool, like he wasn't a fellowship group leader. He was just a guy setting up chairs, but turned out he was leading my group with Ryan that night. So, I mean, they, they've been in my life for um, 10 years at this point, and it's pretty amazing. Um, God called me out of Denver <laughs> into Seattle. Um, I didn't know anybody but my boyfriend at the time, who turned out to marry, so it worked out. He was up there <laughs> doing sound. Um, but, I mean, God's brought me through all sorts of different, different seasons. Moving to Seattle was scary and lonely, and um, here we are um, seven years later, and these, little, um, did these moments just added up to, to trusting God, um, trusting what he's doing and leaning into those new, those new chapters. And um, yes, we're expecting our second <laughs> in the end of March. And so we've grown as a church. Um, and it's just exciting to be able to say this is my church family. This is my church home. So thank you for being there for me. Um, I haven't been able to attend too often in person, but two weeks ago, I had a chance to bring my daughter, um, Olita, who's two, and worship and sing, and it was just such a powerful, powerful moment to be able to worship um, corporately with our with our church body. And so, the pandemic is a crazy time, and we've had, um, I mean, everybody's comfort level with things changes, ups ups and downs, circumstances. It's been a year of us navigating this together. Um, but I'm just so blessed that I have this church family. Um, to come um, to be able to have the opportunity to come and worship with, with all of you was really beautiful. So you may see me here and there um, with a baby coming. It's, it's, it's hard um, to get here all the time, but thank you for being there for us. Um, thank you for being there for Sedaris. So um, that's my little ditty. 
Um, <laughs> happy birthday, Sedaris, and I want to call up Ryan. Reminder, this is your 10-second warning to um, put your name in the chat if you'd like to be a part of the drawing because we're going to do the drawing now. Thanks, Augusta. Um, yeah, it's hard to follow uh, just how uh, Augusta, whenever she speaks, she brings uh, <laughs> meaning and weight and significance to things. And I'm up here to do a raffle. Um, <laughs> so we'll do it together. Okay. All right. So. 